YouTube, what is up with y'all tonight? This is Nail Goodfella. Goodfella Nail coming through with a pair of new kicks. And no one on YouTube. Remember how I said about them watermelon Air Max ones, about nobody had not really having it? A few people popped up on YouTube by the time I got my video up. But I'm telling y'all this right now. Don't nobody got this colorway. Now, they do got the Nike Air Span, too. This is the review of that. I do, I take a little bit more time on sneaker reviews that's not really all out there or like that. Jordan 1, and you know, Jordans or whatever, you got a million reviews on those. That's why I hardly even review them. I, I don't even do on foots really with Jordans and all that stuff because there's so many, man. It's like, it's just, Jordans everywhere. So, um, with this one, this is a Nike pulled out the vault. Um, I want more colorways. It's less than 100 bucks. It's like $95. Definitely worth it. Nike. You damn right, I'm happy I got this kick. That's exactly how I felt. When you want to come in? Bro, just go, bro. Right now, hurry up. Hold on, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait. He had a slight discount on these. I think it might have been $85 or $80 or something like that. It was it wasn't like super discounted, but only sizes they had left was nine and a half and size 10. Definitely in the stars for me to pick this shoe up. It's like, Neil, what do you want to go with? You want to go with a snug fit nine and a half or you want to go with a size 10? You know, for more of a regular fit, more a little bit more loose, you know what I mean? So I end up running with that nine and a half. Y'all know how I like my runners. I like them snug fit, not, not bunched up toe shit, but just snug fit. So I got a, it's a nine and a half white hyper royal and laser orange regular retail is 95 bucks the nike air span 2 no reviews on youtube no reviews on this colorway really now they calling this laser orange but y'all know it looks like yellow it looks like a lakers gold piss yellow pittsburgh steelers yellow all that stuff man crazy 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 I love it. Definitely one of them joints I'm going to be rocking. I don't just wore this around the house just a little bit because I don't want to mess around and get some of that that uh, uh, that that gold, um, you know, beat up yet. You know what I mean? I'm going to wait till the sneaker rotation and take these joints outside. I was just so sneaker conscious. You know what I mean? But, yeah. I just want to hurry up and do a review on these, though. You know what I mean? But I definitely tried these kicks on just so I can have a better review. And the way these fit, these fit like how runners supposed to fit. It's not all this space. If you if you think it's gonna fit like an Air Max one, it's not. First thing first though, you do have that nice sprinkle sprinkle of pink at the top. It probably looks a little bit more magenta on my camera, you know, with the light and stuff. But when you actually see it, it's a little bit lighter than this. Also, too, as well, one of the things I hate about this shoe, y'all know I hate white sock liners and all this stuff, but even though it does make the shoe look clean, I'm part of the black sock gang, and the sock fuzzies is going to attack this and just make the shoe look hideous, but we not here to just rock the inside. We just keep the inside hidden, obviously, if you're wearing the shoe. But going to the inside, I do like the fact that they put this right there. This That, that reminds me... <clears throat> like it's some kind of dessert and then you got the pink sprinkles and this the white is just like a whipped cream pink sprinkles dude pink sprinkles but yeah you got the nike air on the insole you also got nike on the mid sole right here i don't know if that you call that m yeah it might be embossed when it's actually facing outward engraved is when it's actually carved in so The blue swoosh is definitely new buck. Definitely feels like that Air Max 1 new buck. Then you also got the nylon or mesh going along the panels right here. You also got a leather. This is not like soft leather. And it's not, this is not soft leather. This is not soft leather. It's the typical Nike quality that you do get on these joints. That's a better view. So, and then you got the Airspan 2 on the side. And then we go into the back. You got more of that 
sprinkled pink on the back right here. That remind me of going to the bottom. You do have like more of that Lakers like colorway at the bottom again. Crazy fly flames. Sometimes this blue actually looks like a dark Concord purple, but rest assured it is a blue. And most importantly, even though they send this laser orange, I like the way this look. This color actually stood out to me out of all the other ones. They do have other ones that's a little bit more subtle and they are definitely a lot more fly, a lot like fly, but out of all the colors that released this year in April 2018 up to this point, these are the flyest colors to me. Um, I'm gonna start getting them since they are, you know, th these are, this is a cheaper shoe, man. It's probably the cheapest, just, just, just fly, damn uh nike says like the nike roshi you know what i mean the roshis was going for like 80 bucks retail when they first came out in like 2012 and like for them to bring a retro bag like this and to not even crack people heads with this to try to do the 120 or 130 or do some inflation crap nike did a good job with this man definitely and these are not even selling out like well this particular colorway sold out but these aren't even selling that fast like this is cheaper than the air max one you know, some of Air Max ones is actually just regular Air Max ones. Um, well, a few nice colorways or whatever. It's like 110, 120. Um, but these is crazy. Um, again, you got the nylon going along the tongue as well. I know I said it's all on the paneling, but gosh, man, it's just crazy. Um, but as far as me naming the colors, man, as far as like what I think about it, y'all already know. Again, sprinkles. LA, sprinkle, sprinkle me pink. <clears throat> LA Lakers, they call in this laser orange, but again, it looks yellow. Already kind of put that some of that runner band into it because I don't like that 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 little that little potato chip toe that they be giving us. You know, as soon as you pull it, pull runners out the box, they be up like this. You know what I mean? If you actually look at it, the nose of it be like up. You know what I mean? But I like it when it's like flat. You know, like that. So when this, so it can it can be like straight. Uh. Yeah, so what do y'all think about this kick? Would y'all cop this kick though? Definitely worth it. Is this more your speed? And maybe it might be the colorways. Some certain colorways make shoes look better too. Um, the one that came out back in the day that I've seen sold out on a lot of sites is actually the white, gray, and blue one. Those look clean too, but again, that's a little bit more of a subtle like colorway. I might cop that one like maybe third or fourth one or whatever like I'm really dependent I want to cop that many so probably before the year end I might or in a few months I might just just cop like um like at least a good three more or something like that you know what I mean I know I want the white black and gray infrared joint like this uh, I'm thinking about getting the black blue and pink swoosh one, those flames. Uh, what's the other colorway? Then, then I then I guess it would be the the gray, blue, the gray, blue, and black ones with the white, the OG OG ones that came out back in the day when these shoes actually came out. Now I didn't do my homework on them. I don't know if these came out in the '80s or whatever, but it looks like a late '80s to early '90s shoe. Um, but yeah, crazy. And I think this is also different too. The fact they just put air span two on it right there, you know, kind of getting that uh that damn um what's my dude uh, that Virgil one, you know what I mean with that off white where you just calling out things by name. So yeah, definitely fly, definitely something different. Also too, you got mesh like that mesh going around the sock liner right here as well. Definitely. See, this is one of them kicks that's just going, you know, deteriorate. You know, not deteriorate, but like one of them kicks that's just going to go unnoticed in the vault. Again, I'm happy though, man. Like people is sleeping and getting other stuff. They following the herd. If you copy me, if I see these on your feet, I know you ain't following the herd. Also, too, you do got yellow on the back, that gold. And then I like this little hit right here. This definitely gives it more of a like of a 90s. You see that lime green tab? It say recrafted on the inside. So yeah, this is this is one of them joints that's just not. Also got Nike Air on the bottom too, right here. More embossed. I don't know how y'all can see that. There we go. Right here. But yeah, man. 
where am I at? Nine minutes, ten minutes almost. So before I head up out of here, here the babies go. Definitely something fly. If you think about copping these, definitely worth it. I don't want to give particular sizes. <clears throat> I would say go true to size, but everybody foot is shaped different. I'm not the best person to go to as far as like, I don't believe anybody's too much the best person unless you know you have their kind of foot. Or if it's a certain YouTuber that always, you know, you happen to, you probably got the same kind of foot as them or whatever. Me, I got a slim foot. Slim size, slim size 10 as far as Nike go. Snug fit nine and a half um, <clears throat> in most cases. But everybody got different size feet. I don't have a wide feet. I don't, I'd be wrong to give, you know, if you got a wide foot and give you the wrong advice. And you'd be like, bro, I got the last pair of stock, but they tight as hell. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be all like that. Um, this, the, this is the way I rock them with the laces out like this. I don't, too much, I don't really tie them up, you know. These are, that's the whole point of me getting also too. <clears throat> you don't gotta worry about this flopping off your foot, off my foot rather. Since I got in the snug fit, I can actually leave the lace the way it is like this so it won't get the flopping, but yeah. Enough of my talking though, man, it's enough. Enough's enough. I don't wanna beat a dead horse. Y'all already know this fly already. Expect more reviews on different colorways like this. They probably won't be as long because obviously the same tool and the technology is on it as well it's just a different colorway and probably some different materials but i probably will know a little bit more about the shoe if it came from the 80s or the 90s but yeah definitely a fly kick the nike air span too so you know spread the word you know have all your favorite popular shoe tubers try to cop it or whatever not one person said not one popular shoe tuber said anything about it so buy what you like it is what it is y'all know me i buy what i like it is what it is. No shots taken. It's just me doing me. Peace. Definitely a cheap shoe. Y'all gonna cop? Hey, peace.